Okay, so I'm back in for the video. Start this greatly. Appreciate it when you enter like. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Now, honestly, I don't think this video is gonna be long because it ain't really. It wasn't a lot going on today. I don't think so. Um, first thing we're gonna talk about. I see the Bad versus Wild trailer for this new episode, and um, who was it? A uh, wink unlock something like that. This page they posted a get like a clip of the fight of Tasiki and T Love. You said y'all both did good. Like, you said you kept up. Like, you said it was, like, a tie. Where, where's the tie at? I'm going to give you where's that. You pretty, though. I'm going to say that every time I talk about you because I really do think you are pretty as hell. Pretty, pretty, and delusion. I know who else I feel like is, is, is super pretty but got beat up, too. Um, uh, damn, how did I just forget her name? She's, like, one of my... Fly Night, Fly Night. She just got her ass beat by, like, Liddy Friend. Me, personally, I love Fly Night. And I know I said it months ago, but I think she's pretty as hell, bro. And I know she stole the baby, right? I get it. She kidnapped the baby, but she took the baby to the grandma house. I say, like, the full story, dude. Let me know if y'all want that full story because I, like, I know where it's at. Like, I seen the live of it. So, if y'all want that, let me know, okay? Anyway, let's get into the topics of this video. First, we have Natalie, Tommy, and Janisha. Let me tell you something. Janisha is more messy than what people think she is. And for, I'm here for it, first of all. Did y'all see her, uh, Rihanna knew who Janisha was? I was so happy for her. I don't even know her, but it's like, ooh, girl, y'all both like the Caribbeans and shit like that. I love it. I, I don't know what Janisha is. I, I think she's a model, I think, but I've been seeing her with a lot of big name people recently, and I love that. So remember, like, somewhere in the past 48 hours, Johnson said something about the baddies. The baddies responded. In the midst of Natalie responded, she spoke about this horse. Now, for a little refresher, Tommy, her entrance to baddies was coming in on that white horse on the beach. Um, and she, it was a whole thing about this horse. Like, we talked about this horse for like three days straight, okay? Tommy uh, really wanted this horse. She said Natalie was jealous that she came on a white horse and she didn't. Me personally, that's stupid as hell. It's like, grow up. I don't know if that's true or not. First of all, the fact that this white horse is a whole thing is crazy to me. Now, like I said, as she was responding to Jocelyn yesterday, Natalie made this post, right? It's her on a white horse. It says, this was a Baddies Caribbean promo announcement shot in December 2023. I asked for a white horse. We never released these shots or video, but she saw this from our Zeus camera team. Then wanted to say she had to have a white horse for her scene. Baddies Caribbean in four days, blah, blah, blah. This white horse shit was over weeks ago. I don't know what made her decide to talk about this white horse again. It's, you're not even arguing with her right now. You, you're arguing with Jocelyn. So I don't know how this even came up. So now this is where people feel like, Janisha being, you know, a little shady, a little messy, not too much. To me, it's pretty fucking funny, right? She posted herself on a white horse talking about Throwback Thursday. People feel like she's trying to say, girl, I did it before all y'all. It's giving that, and I like that. If, if that's what you was giving, I know it was. I, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Now, real quick, and I'm not trying to be nitpicky, but it's just, this is just something I've been thinking about for, like, since I seen this photo a couple days ago. This is the cover photo for Baddies Caribbean. Why the fuck are they all in black? That, it, it pisses me off. Who decided to come out with everyone should wear black for Baddies Caribbean? But like you would think it's all colorful. Like the pro, the little promo shoot was was colorful as hell. Who decided all black? Like that, it pisses me off, and it shouldn't get me that pissed off. But it don't make sense to me. Y'all look good. It just don't make sense to me. That, that's it. Anyway, next. This to me, this is like very minor. But Biggie was on live, and she said she got into a very bad with Natalie this season. Now, right, Natalie didn't do anything. Right, this season, this season, me and Natalie argued really badly. But the thing I just is, think like, that she played too much. Like, she just but this, I mean, yeah, that's her job, though. Right, Natalie didn't do it. Now, what I will say, Biggie, if y'all little argument is about Natalie not like really fucking with you for real, you, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. Then we have Tink. So Tink, she dropped a diss song on a uh, diamond dtb whatever y'all want to call her and she also said meatball was next okay so here go like a little part of this this song bitch oh. you sneak me and get beat up i'm on baddies with my feet up miami or atlanta i'm from philly we can meet up yeah i know you scared bitch diamond you so weird bitch take that five bands make me put it on your head I don't think it's bad. I, I think it's kind of catchy. If you ask me, I don't know. I haven't heard the whole thing, but that little first part, I, you know, cute. But Damien, she wasn't feeling it, okay? Now, Damien, all you got to do is make a diss song back. You know how to rap. You, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Damien said, some people could only get recognized by talking about other people because they are nobodies. She said, anytime you hit any blog, it's because you talking about me or me. Post yourself, see if that gets picked up. She said, I could post just me and get reposted. Can you? Bye, child. Do y'all feel like Diamond gonna be a fan favorite this season? Or no? I don't know. 
All right, so then the whole Suki and JT situation. So remember, however long ago, um, people was telling Suki, like, hey, JT dissed you, right? And then Suki, she made a video on Instagram. She was like, I didn't, I know, I broke my tooth on a crab leg before, but I don't be talking about people, so I don't think you're talking about me because last time I checked, we was cool, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, can you clear it up? Are you talking about me or not? Now, since then, JT, she didn't clear anything up, so I guess Sukiyana took it as, okay, she is talking about me, all right? So, um, she woke up and chose violence, okay? So, Suki said, she pretty than a mother effer, but she be doing cocaine. Uh, oh, fine. Then she said, y'all pray for me, nothing wrong, it's just JT lips used to be so white. Am I the only one who ain't understand that? Cause we're play we're praying for you because her lips used to be white. I don't understand. I don't. Do y'all get it? Because I don't get it. Also, I don't know if JT do coke or not. I don't know. I never heard her name in coke before. Okay, so yeah. So JT, she finally responded to Suki. She said, to clear the air, Sukiyana, you knew I wasn't talking about you. I would have answered quicker if you didn't try to do a one-two special. I never knew your two fell out from eating crab legs. You go viral for stupid shit daily. Uh, and to think I'm scared of you when I'm a zoo subscriber is sick. See, now I'm confusing it, because what does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck? What, what is y'all talking about? To think I'm... What do you mean? Like, are you saying, like, she got her ass beat or something? By Roly? Because who else she fight? What? Is that what she's saying or no? <laughs> are you fighting me back to back? You could have DM'd me, but you was trying to distract me and use me to run your shit up so you could run a special for page promo, sucker ass hoe. This what I like. This what I like. It's Sukiyana. Go laugh. Am I the only one that like when Sukiyana go live going off about something? That should be hilarious. I, I, uh, but it's like, damn, ain't both of y'all from Miami? Actually, I don't think Suki is like from Miami, but I think she lived there. Then she said she's from Delaware or Jersey or something. I think so. Now, when Suki made that little recording thing that, about calling out JT, she was like, I was just at her birthday party, right? Or some type of party. Yeah, whatever. So JT said, you definitely was at my party uninvited. Always want to be seen and her as bitch. Sukiyana, search my page. I be supporting you. Never had an issue with you. So why would I enter a booth and think of you? Sewer pussy. Okay. Then she said, for all of y'all girls who wanted to stick that clear the air narrative on me, I never got on here asking nobody to clear the air. I said, don't mention me. But if you were pushing a narrative, but y'all so far up my ass, y'all want to play dumb. I do not give a F about y'all hoes. Read this again. She didn't say clear the air. Why do I feel like I thought she said that? Didn't she say that? Well, she said she didn't, so. Then she said, and on my soul, I really don't want to argue no more after today. God been doing everything we talked about. I owe y'all nothing. So if y'all think I'm scary after today, I am. And move. What? Let me do my stuff. Someone said, I hate uh, That's not what I said. What I said was, asshole. It's the same thing in a different font, but okay, girl. Basically, she's talking about JT, right? JT responded to that. She said, explain to me how. When did I ever post a video asking her to clear the air? Y'all hoes could... Wait, no one said she made a video. I think it was on Twitter. Well, hold, let me finish. Y'all hoes can't take me. I make y'all hoes so sick when I don't do nothing but rap and play with my dogs who live better than you. So, yeah, that, that's it for this video. If you found it interesting and I hope you did at least a little bit, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.